Hello again, time for another Couple 6 Alignment Bite. In this bite, we're going to explore all the features that Step 1 Dimensions and Tolerances has to offer and show how to enter the machine dimensions to perform the alignment. Couple 6 offers four machine modules, standard motors, bolt-bound motors, vertical motors, and machine trains. In addition, there are two coupling types, the standard flexible coupling or spacer shaft coupling, which has seven data formats. To simplify the setup process, Couple 6 automatically changes the screen dimension graphics depending on which selections are made. The graphics show which dimensions are needed and how to take measurements. For spacer shafts, tap the spacer icon and Couple 6 adds the G dimension to the screen, where the length of the spacer shaft is entered. This automatically changes the data format in steps 4 and 5 to the default gap A, gap B. Or you can choose from 6 other spacer shaft data formats. In the bolt bound module, the driven unit's dimensions are entered so when the move screen is opened, you can lock and unlock different combinations of motor and pump feet to see which combination minimizes the moves. In the vertical machines module, the dimensions and setup are quite different. So the graphics change to match the vertical orientation of the equipment. Enter the dimensions as shown, select the number of bolts and Couple 6 will calculate the shims for each bolt. Couple 6 also offers the industry's best live move screen for non-spigot mounted vertical machines. Ok, let's go back to a standard machine to show you how to enter dimensions. Simply press and hold in the dimension box area which opens up a keyboard. Tap in the dimensions and hit enter. Continue entering the other dimensions in the same way, making sure to enter the dimensions with an accuracy of a quarter of an inch or 10 millimeters. Now all that is left to do is to set the alignment tolerance. Just click on the RPM of the motor and Couple 6 will automatically set the values of our two-tier alignment tolerance table. Color-coded displays will show whether the alignment is in either acceptable or excellent tolerance or out of tolerance altogether. Couple 6 also allows the user to set the tolerance if desired. Finally, if you want to set the thermal growth offsets targets, either at the coupling or the feet, click on the temperature icon and Couple 6 will take you to our thermal growth screen, where you can enter or calculate the offsets, which are then automatically applied to the alignment values in steps 4 and 5. Well that's it for now. Be sure to go to our YouTube channel and see more alignment bites. Thanks for listening.